welcome back to my channel. I went to the dollar store a few days ago and I bought a bunch of stuff and today I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. But before that, let's just rewind back to that day. Good morning, everyone. Uh, what's up? <laughs> All right, Ooh. so I'm filming with my phone, which is why I'm like unfamiliar with how to do this. Today, I thought I would do something fun. This morning, I woke up and I was like, I could film that, okay. So today, I thought I would go to the dollar store, since a lot of you guys liked the dollar store video that I did with Cami. Let me just put my phone out for a second, okay. Hi there, oh, and that's my little brother over there, and ain't he so cute? right there when he was a little boy there's my older brother there i is right here that be me over here look at that fake smile i have on there do i look the same do i look different i don't know and that's me again when i was a little baby um hey so this dollar store the one that i'm gonna go to is probably the better one out of some of the ones here in Canada. I can't tell you how many times I walked into a dollar store. Sorry, excuse the, I am a hot mess. I can't tell you how many times I walked into a so-called dollar store and things are like $3.99, $4.99. I'm like, why do you even call yourself a dollar store? Just call yourself a store. There it is, Dollarama. Yeah, see, that's two fifty, not a dollar. What? These noodles are four for a dollar. That's probably the best deal I've seen today. <laughs> yeah, let's just check with the vegan. Hello. I feel like this is going to be part one of at least two videos where I show you guys some food from the dollar store and what I can make from the foods from the dollar store. Because I bought quite a few things. I spent almost 20 Canadian dollars. So I spent 1886 Canadian, which is probably around like $16-ish, which is quite a lot at the dollar store. That means I got a lot of stuff. So I'll show you guys what I got in just a second. Before we actually get started with the haul and show you guys everything I got, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is of course supported by audible.com and Audible is of course the awesome audiobook store where you can download all sorts of audiobooks. They have tons and tons of audiobooks available that you can download straight onto your device and listen to whenever you please. So if you guys wanna support this channel and get yourself a free audiobook and a free one month trial, check the link down below. And the book that I just finished listening to was called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Very interesting read, or very interesting listen, I should say. Uh, highly recommended. The next book, though, that I'm going to be listening to is called Barking Up the Wrong Tree, The Surprising Science Behind Why Everything You Know About Success is Mostly Wrong. I haven't listened to it yet, so if you guys want to listen to it with me, this is by Eric Barker. Again, check out the link down below if you guys want to get yourself a free audiobook and a free one month trial and you can listen to a book with me. But yeah, let's get started. So like I said, I spent $18.86, that's including tax. So a little under 20 Canadian dollars. And I actually found quite a number of interesting things and I think you would agree. I was relatively impressed. First thing I will show you is a soy milk. I was actually surprised to find this. I thought I wouldn't be able to find this in the Canadian dollar store. Generally, Canadian dollar stores are not the greatest. This one is called, I think this is the Dollarama brand actually. Apparently this is organic soy milk too. It's not just soy milk, it's organic soy milk from the dollar store. $1.50, not bad. Next thing I got, once again, very, very surprised. Some coconut water, I know, right? Coconut water from the dollar store. This is 100% natural Thai heritage coconut water. This is 100% coconut water. What? And this was, I believe, $1.25. Oh, $1.25, yes. $1.25 for coconut water. Which, you know what? I'm going to drink some right now because I am thirsty. Hydration. Tastes like coconut water. Mmm, it's actually quite good. 
there you go next thing again i was kind of surprised i don't know like i've never actually used this though so bear with me hearts of palm i got a can of hearts of palm so i think this is supposed to be kind of similar to like artichokes but i think i can create some things with it really impressive this is dollar 25 i don't know if that's cheap for hearts of palm or not but the fact that i found this at the dollar store i was really surprised this isn't too surprising, but of course I had to get it if you guys know me at all. Instant noodles, yes. I got four packages of instant noodles for a dollar. So 25 cents each I got, and these are all vegan friendly, I did check, even though some of them are like flavored, like beef flavor, but it's artificial. So there's beef flavor. I got two chicken flavors, and I also got a vegetable one vegetable flavor apparently it's not actual vegetables just vegetable flavor four for a dollar 25 cents each very cheap next thing i got some rice crackers these are baked not fried sesame rice crackers i do love me some rice crackers great little snack you can dip this in whatever you can spread stuff on it really really good this was a dollar all right so another very surprising find baby beets whole baby beets this is vacuum packed, peeled and boiled baby beets. Who knew that you could find, I, I don't am I, am I the only one that's surprised? I don't know. Never thought I would be able to find beets at the dollar store, but yeah, this was $1.25 for this package of whole baby beets. Very, very impressive. Yes, I'm gonna drink some more coconut water. Mm. Next thing I got, is this microwavable rice pouch this is roasted chicken flavor but of course there is no chicken in here it's just like rice and like whoa, loud so yeah this is roasted chicken flavor but there is no chicken in here of course and it says it's ready in one minute so you know handy for those of you that are lazy and don't have a lot of time not sure how healthy it is, but you know, whatever. Next thing I got are some smoked almonds. Okay, this was a dollar fifty, which I thought was a good deal. There's, you know, quite a few in there. I think it would be really tasty. Smoked almonds, yes. Ooh, this table is getting pretty full, you know. Next thing I got is some coconut milk. Uh, a can of coconut milk. Once again, I wasn't expecting to find coconut milk at the dollar store. Um, this is probably not the highest quality of coconut milk, but you know, it's still a can of coconut milk, so pretty impressive. Okay, this, I was like, what? I found a can of stuffed vine leaves. What is my life? Stuffed vine leaves, and when I was in Greece, I ate this probably like every single day. Like, all the restaurants had them, and um, they were so yummy. <laughs> So to see this at the dollar store, I was like, what? I was really surprised. Maybe I'm just uncultured and I don't know what's going on, but $1.25 for a can of stuffed vine leaves. Now I haven't tried it yet, so let's see how it is coming up either in this video or the next video. I'm gonna stack these instant noodles there, okay? And next, um, this wasn't too surprising. I found a can of chickpeas. They had other beans as well, of course. They had kidney beans, they had uh, black beans, I believe. Uh, I can't remember how much this was. I think this was probably like a dollar. Uh, but yeah, can of chickpeas, of course, really important. Although I don't necessarily think it's much cheaper to get it at the dollar store versus a regular store, which is what you find in a lot of cases. It's like, sure, the dollar store has cheap things, but not always. Like just because it's at the dollar store doesn't mean it's cheaper. Some of these things might be cheaper at a regular store, you know? So don't be fooled just because it's called the dollar store and everything's a dollar because some of the stuff could be less than a dollar at the non-dollar store. But this, the next product I'm about to show you, I think is a really good deal because I wouldn't be able to find this at a regular store for this price. And it is all natural peanut butter. Did you guys expect to find all natural peanut butter at the dollar store? I don't think so. This was $1.50 for a pretty good like this is 500 grams and it's just peanuts, roasted peanuts, that's it. I was expecting to find peanut butter, but definitely not all natural peanut butter. Very surprising, okay? Very, very impressed. 
Next thing I got was some spaghetti. Woo! Because like I said, I want to create some meals out of the things that I find at the dollar store, you know? So I had to get some spaghetti. This is almost a kilo. This is 900 grams of just regular spaghetti. They call it spaghetti. Spaghettini. Why is it called spaghettini? Does that mean it's thinner? Whatever. And next, of course, to go with the spaghetti, I got some diced tomatoes with Italian spices. So I think this is already like spice. There's already salt in there. Yeah, there's some basil in there. So it's like probably makes a great sauce. And it is it was a dollar twenty-five for this giant can. So not bad. The table's getting full. And last thing, once again, quite surprised to find this, roasted chestnuts. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever tried chestnuts, but they are probably my favorite thing. Are chestnuts actual nuts? Chestnuts are probably like my absolute favorite. They are so good. I know that in Canada or the US, chestnuts are not like super big or popular. Uh, so a lot of people probably haven't even eaten them before. But growing up in Korea when I was young, chestnuts are a big part of Korean cuisine. Not cuisine, but Koreans eat a lot of chestnuts, okay? It's a big thing in Korea. And they are so good, okay? And I found this, and I'm so impressed that I found this. I'm so happy. Maybe I should try one. I'm just gonna try one right now. So usually you have to like, yeah, these are peeled, which is, which is good. Mmm. If you're not used to this taste, it might be a little bit weird for you, but it's like kind of a mix of like sweet potato with like, oh, I'm not a, it's like a nutty sweet potato. You know how sweet potatoes are like really soft? It's not like soft. I'm trying to think of like what else it would resemble, but it's so good, okay? Like I'm telling you, I should have bought more actually. This was $1.25 and these are so addictive. Mm. Oh. Anyway, that is all that I got. I'm gonna drink some more of this. Oh, you guys, this is quite a lot. Okay, like, do you see this? <laughs> this is all the food that I got at the dollar store. I think I did a pretty damn good job at finding some really interesting vegan items at the dollar store. Was not expecting to find vine leaves. Wasn't expecting to find chestnuts, coconut water, freaking hearts of palm. I wasn't expecting to find so many of these things so yeah that is my haul now we're gonna go to the kitchen to see what i can make out of some of these items for our first fancy dollar store meal we're gonna take this chicken flavored instant noodle soup we're also gonna take some coconut milk and some all natural peanut butter yes and also some chickpeas all I'm doing is cooking up the instant noodles the way that you normally would cook the instant noodles. I'm just using a little bit less water and I'm using the entire packet of seasoning. But you can feel free to use less if you want to, uh, I don't know, have less sodium and be a little bit healthier, you know? This is not a healthy meal, but this is a good ramen hack, especially for those of you guys in college or something. So we're adding a little bit of peanut butter in there. So about a tablespoon of peanut butter. It sounds a bit weird, but I'm telling you guys, this is such a good hack. And you're gonna add some coconut milk there as well. I'm probably adding about a third cup or a half cup of coconut milk. Feel free to add less or more, whatever. And I'm also throwing in some chickpeas, just a small handful of chickpeas. And that's pretty much it, super simple. It's basically like cooking instant noodles, but adding a few extra things in there. And we're gonna transfer this into a nice bowl. And uh, yeah, here we have some creamy, delicious, much more filling soup. And we're also gonna add some chopped green onion there as well. Obviously, I didn't get the green onions at dollar store, so that is optional, but it's a really nice addition, okay? And this actually turned out kind of like laksa, like. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like a coconut, really creamy, very, very like rich soup. So good. Mm, this is actually so good, guys. And for the second fancy dollar store meal, we're using this microwavable rice. We're also gonna use some of these baby beets. 
and some smoked almonds. So I'm just following the instructions on how to make this microwavable rice. Pretty straightforward. You microwave it for one minute after you open up the packaging a little bit. And we're gonna make things a little bit more interesting by adding some baby beets. I'm just taking a few. I'm just gonna chop them up into smaller pieces. I decided to cook them up a little bit with a small amount of oil. Now, I don't think this part is actually necessary, but I thought maybe it would bring out the flavors more. I'm not sure. Let me know down below. How do you guys eat your beets? I don't really know. I also wanted to add some smoked almonds into the mixture to make it more interesting, but instead of using the whole almonds, I decided to process it so that it becomes kind of like almond crumbs so I can sprinkle it on top of the rice. I know, right? It's so fancy. And we're going to make things even more fancy by chopping up a few chestnuts and adding that to the rice as well. So this is the finished microwavable rice. This is what it looks like without anything on it. And um, yeah, we're going to add some fancy things, such as beets. And we're sprinkling on some of those smoked almonds that we processed earlier. And yes, we are also going to add some of those chestnuts and that is the finished product. I mean, that looks pretty decent, okay? Like, I can imagine eating that at a restaurant. The rice is okay. The beets. Really good. Almonds, good shout. Mmm, the chestnuts. Not a bad meal.